Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Twilight Romance. Along Leo's route, we are reading episodes 9 and 10 today. And we have foolishly run out of the mansion to go rescue Say on our own. <laughs> Even though, I mean, yeah, it's noble to want to save your best friend's life, but you're going out there and potentially putting your hands in the life of a vampire that once basically four vampires start attacking humans again and run rampant around the world, so mm, probably not a very wise decision. We should let the experts handle this, but we're not. So hopefully everybody will come rescue us in time. And they probably will, since this is a romance game. But anyway, let's see what happens. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Say, where are you? Under the full moonlight, I started to call out Say's name as I searched for her. I saw the beautiful moon I saw with Leo once before, but this time it shined harshly from the sky. How did it all end up like this? Was this the change in life I sought for? Uh, I suddenly stepped onto a path in the middle of the forest. Beyond was Say being held by a woman in red clothes. Next to them was Ray smiling boldly. Dear really? You came? Upon seeing me, Say was happy, yet with signs of grief. I came as promised. Really, Say? Oh, I've been waiting, my dear sacrifice. Ray bowed before me. But I won't be giving Say back to you. What? A promise is a promise. What do you need her for? You won't keep your promise? When I asked him with a trembling voice, Ray responded while displeased. Promise? You're the one who broke it. Ray looked at where Leo stood. Leo, I told you not to come after me. Did you really think he wouldn't? Come on. I can't stand seeing you so sad, but I can't let you fall into his trap so easily. It's about more than just you and Say to really... Behind Leo was Akira, Albert, and Maizumi, who had also followed him. Thank goodness. You okay, Daruli? Don't throw your life away so easily. Sorry, Albert. But I can't leave Say like that. This place, how did you get past the police? Ray answered cheerfully to Maizumi's question. Maybe because I'm not your only enemy, right, Akahoshi? Oh no, he is a traitor here too. Is he going to be traitor in all the routes? What? What are you saying? As if in answer to his inquiry, Akahoshi came out from the trees. Sorry, Shion. I want to aim for something higher up. Darn it, Akahoshi. I still want to date you. <laughs> Just like we still want to date Ray, even though he's a bad guy. And you know, I haven't said it in a really long time, but I want my harem ending. I want all the guys. Guy games get harem endings. Why can't us girls get harem endings? Why can't I have all of them? It's fiction. You traitor. Haha, <laughs> well, that's not true. I was always on his side, you know. No, we didn't know. I was envious of your powers. But you chose to live as a human. Well, I feel belittled by that decision of yours. Enough, Akahoshi. Now, seeing that you broke the promise, only punishment awaits. Ray reached his hand out towards Say's neck. Wait, please! I'll do anything! Just give Say back! Huh, <laughs> becoming so desperate you humor me. The same thing happened before. They make demands without keeping their end of the bargain. I felt a chill when Ray said those words so coldly. Are you talking about the raid from that time? Yeah, I am. When Dad and Mom were killed during that one peace conference held by humans. They tricked us into coming, you know. I can't forgive humans because of that. As Ray and Leo glared at each other, Akahoshi and Mayazumi held their guns to each other. Oh dear, Mexican standoff. Are you a vampire now? Mayazumi quivered as he said that in disbelief. Well, maybe I am. You want to see for yourself. At that moment, the gunshot rang out. It was Mayazumi's gun which had been shot. Being shot in the shoulder, Akahoshi dropped his gun and leaned on Mayazumi. Oh, they were in close proximity, huh? I will not go easy on my enemies, whether they are human or vampire, or even once a friend. I've always been like that. Seeing Akahoshi's wound... Mayazumi sighed in relief. So, you're still human. I apologize, but I'll take him to safety. Until then, hold him off. That's so sweet of him to still be concerned about him, even though he's betrayed him. To the point where he's actually letting this fight go to take care of him. After saying that, Mayazumi disappeared like a gust of wind. You didn't even flinch when your friend got shot. Oh, I never thought of humans as friends. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought he would call him a friend. The eyes of the woman holding Say quivered as she inquired harshly. My master, aren't I Yukari your friend? You're special. 
then you're also a vampire. Although he had answered with a doubtful reply, the woman still felt relieved. I'm glad you think so. You're all in the way. Now, Leo, will you kneel before me? <sighs> Leo, is that all that's left for us to do? In our current situation. Both you, Albert, and my brother became weak by getting humans involved. But Leo didn't make a move. What's the matter? If you don't obey, say will. Choose your action. Leo, please save say. Leo, please, save say. Of course, Dorelli. Don't, Mr. Leo. If you do, humans will lose what freedom they have. Please, forgive me, Albert. Slowly, Leo approached Ray. There's never been a time I've hated my inner ego like now. We can save Say with this, but humans will no longer be able to live freely. Yeah, what kind of life will you and Say live with this? Leo finally arrived right before Ray. I'm sure I'll live on hating myself for making this decision. And then again, Leo might have something different in mind once he gets close to him. Oh, I didn't want to do anything violent. Well, I'm sure you also hate humans, don't you, bro? I also didn't want to do anything violent. Huh? From Leo's arm came a white sword, pointing straight at Ray's throat. Master Ray! Both Akira and Albert leapt into a blur upon hearing those words. Now's your chance. As if I'll let you. Upon assessing the situation, and after a second of hesitation, Ray attacked the two in order to take back Say. Akira had stopped Ray, allowing Albert the chance to carry Say away and bring her back to me. Do really? I was scared! We hugged each other, feeling what it truly means to be alive. I'll make sure to protect the both of you. Thank you, Albert. God, he looks so sexy when he makes that pose, with his eye glowing red like that. I'm sorry. It's because of me. Don't apologize. You only wanted to save your friend, right? Also, I knew of Master Leo's intentions, so I'm aware that he doesn't hold anything against you. Thank you. But this was not the end of everything. Nearby, a heated battle was raging on. You caught it. Switch places. I'll take care of bro. Leo, you betrayer of our bloodline. Ray's black sword clashed with Leo's white sword. Then, I will take care of this mutt. An old enemy from time past. Huh. <laughs> Bring it on. Currently, it's a stalemate. But if Mayazumi comes back... Hurry! Hurry, Shion! But... That thought became fruitless as Ray started to press hard on Leo. This is because you only drink animal blood. There's no way you can win against me, bro. Even so, I still want to protect humans. No, make that, I want to protect the really. Their swords created a loud grinding sound as they fought. You're no match for my power. Leo's sword was thrown back. Ray lunged at Leo with his black sword. Watch out! I jumped into the fight right in front of Leo. Uh-oh. Ugh! Really? At first I felt nothing, but as I noticed something warm flowing from my arm, I felt a sharp pain shudder through me from my right arm. She... why? She's a human, yet she... It's because I'm human and I care! Ray was for some reason surprised by my act of defense. You're just like that person? Upon saying that, Ray's movement stopped. Oh, did he remember the person that raised them? Leo, I'm glad you're alright. Kind of choose an action again. Uh, my One of my replies, I can say, mm. I'm going to say, You aren't hurt, are you? Yes, express concern. You aren't hurt, are you? You should be worried about yourself, not me. Although I may be imagining it, there were tears in Leo's eyes. Upon seeing where I was injured, Leo sighed in relief. Don't do things like that. As Leo embraced me, I stretched out my right hand to his cheek. Blood dripped from that hand. The sweet smell of blood. Leo licked the blood off my fingertip. He then continued to lick it off my hand. It's sweet. Damn, they'll tell me you. Ray watched in amazement at what was happening, taking a stance. Forgive me, Ray. I'm not going to hold back, okay? Well, I hope that was enough blood to empower him for this fight. Ah, which is to be continued. But fortunately, we're jumping right into it. I'll leave to really in your care, Albert. On my life, Mr. Leo. Albert leapt with Say to where I was and picked me up. To really? Her blood is... Say bought out her handkerchief and tied it firmly around my arm. Does it hurt? 
I can't really tell if it does or not. It's really like you to say that. Nearby, Leo kept repelling Ray's attacks. What happened? Could it be... He drank my blood and awakened to being king? Such a hopeless battle had been completely reversed. I heard the apple behold abilities related to the flow of time. It seems his power is foresight. Foresight? For example, Mr. Ray can look back in time. It's one of the powers of the apple bee. But Mr. Leo never awakened to his vampiric side, so he couldn't use his powers. Then how was he so fast all this time? It seems like, out of all the possibilities, his power allows him to see the future. Foresight. Hey, what's the situation? About time you got back. At that moment, my Azumi had just come back. Akahoshi must have been sent to the organization. Mr. Mayazumi, you're back. Master Leo and Master Ray are fighting. Mr. Akira is against the woman. And why isn't Albert helping somebody? Mayazumi's gaze was upon Leo. What he saw was Ray's sword being thrown aside by Leo. Did he awaken to being king? Yes, your guess is correct. Mayazumi looked troubled upon seeing the air around Leo change, as he presumed. Ray, can you tell me why you're persistent in becoming king? i die before I tell you. I see. Although Leo seemed to mellow at first, he immediately bit Ray's neck. Whoa, I didn't expect that. Ugh. Leo, don't kill him! Surprised by my voice, the woman in red who was fighting Akira stopped. Master Ray! You think you have time to get sidetracked? With one strike, Akira disarmed the woman of both her swords. His claw was aimed at her throat. This is the end. Give up. Ugh. Did he hear what I had said? Whether or not he did, Leo released Ray. How dare you belittle me? If I could, I didn't want to make this decision. But I don't want to kill you, Ray. I would like you to live on just as a human being. Ray looked dumbfounded, unable to respond to Leo's plea. So, it's done. What happened? The Vampire King is capable of exiling members, thus they become human. Then, does that mean Ray's become a human being? How dare you do that to my master? Where do I belong to now? The woman charged at Leo, even when she got scarred by Akira's claws. But Leo caught her with one hand, thereafter biting her neck. Ugh! Upon being released by Leo, whether if it was because of the despair of becoming human, the woman spoke to Ray. Okay, so Leo biting them, he's able to turn them into human through that, I guess. Master Ray, I, Yukari, will always be by your side, even as a human. But Ray rejected her. You jerk. I, I will not accept the likes of a human being. Even though you're a human being now? It sounded like he was either talking about himself or about his hate of humanity. Ray blindly walked deep into the forest, eventually disappearing into the darkness. Leo grudgingly saw him off. Master Ray, where are you going? Leaving me behind. But all that was there was darkness. What is he going to do? After that, in the end, we couldn't find Ray. He must still be in the forest. If he's human now, he can't live in the forest forever. He'll return, right? While I was in the middle of thinking, Leo pressed some antiseptic cloth onto my wound, making me give out a slight scream. Leo, that hurts! But I have to. Even if my powers closed your wound, I need to apply antiseptics. You are human. Why you don't have to look mad at me when you're saying that? Upon hearing the last few words, my heart skipped a beat. Leo really has awakened to his vampiric side, hasn't he? Leo was personally attending to the wound on my arm, made by Ray's sword. But the disinfectant wasn't very effective. Maybe my wound wasn't that deep. When I had licked your hand, I didn't think my vampiric powers would seal the wound. Leo continued to explain, but overall when they blood suck, they have this power that prevents their prey from dying from shock. This is a really severe wound. You should have Mayazumi's Institutional Hospital treat it. A normal hospital will report this gash wound as an unusual incident. Time to choose again? I understand. Makes sense. I understand. I hope you get better soon. When dawn comes, an envoy car will arrive. You'll be able to go home. Eh, but I like staying here. With what he said catching my interest, I looked at Leo. But he wasn't looking at me as he placed the gauze on my wound and started wrapping it with bandages. How about you? We cannot be together anymore. Why? Everything's finally over, isn't it? 
and this is your route. Then shouldn't that mean we can be together as much as we want? Yes, everything's over, but my time as a vampire has just begun. Then I'll be a vampire with you. In all honesty, I want your blood to really. By being with you, my throat becomes parched. After finishing wrapping the bandages, Leo moved his hand away from my arm. Then make me a vampire. You can do that, right? Oh, I just willingly offer myself right up without a second thought. No, I can't. Choose your action. Um, I want to be at your side. Don't deny me. I want to be by your side. Before that, I'm sure I'll kill you for sucking too much of your blood. I want you to live, Dorilli. If I could, I want to be by your side. But because I want you to live, I can't. I cannot be at your side. Uh, just because of... But I didn't say anymore. Leo's now a vampire. He bears the burden of powers of the whole bloodline. He could very easily erase my very existence. I'm scared of the red eyes of the vampires ever since I saw them as a child. But you're different because I love you. Tears flowed down my cheeks as I said this. All I wanted to do was tell him how much I felt about him. Why did it have to hurt so much? Even if I told him, my heart became cold, knowing it was an unattainable dream. Leo, what are your feelings for me? I think it's pretty obvious. Leo then looked at me with melancholic eyes, without giving an answer. I cannot meet with you anymore, Dorilli. Forget me and stay away from the forest. Even as a human... Ray still may be dangerous to approach. Leo, do you... hate me? Saying that from all the sadness I was feeling, I understood that Leo felt disturbed. As he reached his hand out to wipe my tears away, he hesitantly drew it back. It's already late. You can use my bed to rest. Good night. No, don't leave me! After saying that, Leo exited the room. All I could recall was the sound of the door closing. Huh... Well, we have one more episode, and then there are two endings, the happy ending and the normal ending. And unfortunately, as I have said before, I can't read the endings. Yeah, so I can read episode 11, but that will be it. And I'll tell you a little bit more of the details about the deal with that when we get to that point. So I hope to see you in the next episode or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.